good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to do part three. Part three of what you're asking? Part three of our little series where we talk about each of the individual sections that are releasing in Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. Uh, what am I talking about specifically? Well, we've covered the jackets. We've covered the tees. Now in part three today, we're gonna to be covering the tops in this collection. So in today's video, we are covering the tops that are releasing in the Supreme Spring Summer 2020 collection. Now you're probably like, what? what? I'm, co what? I'm confused. What the heck is the difference between a top and a tee? Totally understandable. Totally understandable. So. When you have a tee, t-shirt, and you put a graphic on it, it is printed onto the tee. It is not sewn into the fabric. It's not, the actual t-shirt isn't made from, you know, let's put it this way. The tee isn't when it's made, the actual graphic isn't sewn in as part of the graphic. You, you know, different colors are not sewn onto this tee to make the tee. What happens is, is tees are generally blank. You generally get a blank tee and you print the artwork, the graphic, the whatever onto the tee. Now, what is a top? A top doesn't have something printed on it. It is cut and sewn with different colored fabrics and the graphic is a part of the top. It is not, you know, put on later when it is, you know, made. It is actually made during the process of making the top so the graphics will last longer the graphics stand out a lot better this is why i prefer tops when i'm buying you know like t-shirts long sleeve t-shirts and crew neck sweaters and stuff i prefer the top method of making it because then you get the cut and sew and the colors put into the actual garment instead of just printed on top of the garment and the, the graphics last a lot longer. I explained it in the tease video, I would say a little bit better because I used examples and stuff. But today we are talking about the tops, the garments that have had the graphics made into them instead of printed on them. I hope that clears it up for you guys. I hope now you understand the difference between tops and tees. You can have a t-shirt that is a top because you can have the t-shirt being made in different colors of fabric and it makes the graphic, if you get what I mean. But you can also have t-shirts that aren't made, the graphic isn't made into the t-shirt, it's printed on the t-shirt afterwards. You can have that, it gets a little bit confusing, don't worry. So, as I said, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the tops, the garments that have had their graphics sewn into them because they've had different uses of colored materials sewn. So they're not printed on. Get ready for it, there is a lot of them. There is a lot releasing this spring summer collection, but as always, it's releasing week after week. Um, I'm gonna cover the weeks for you. I'm gonna try and cover the weeks for you. First, I've gotta cover everything that's releasing in the collection, and then we can cover what's releasing every week. So we just gotta smash these out. We gotta smash these out, but do you know what you have to smash out? You have to smash that like button. You have to smash the subscribe button because we're going for 2K. We're going for 2000 subs, guys. Come on, come and join in on the ride. We're heading for 2K subs. We're getting there every single day, and I want you to help me out today. I want you to subscribe to the channel, subscribe with all your seven different Google accounts. Let's get up there, fellas. Let's get to 2K. Let's do it to them. I want to do it to them. But enough of that. Let's head over to the Hype Beast article now and have a look at all the tops that are releasing in Supreme's Spring Summer 2020 collection. And here we are. So, <laughs> whoa. For the first top, we get a very graphic heavy one. It looks like some weird cartoon graphic that looks a little bit like Yogi Bear, but that's okay. Uh, let's read in what the article has to say, and then we'll dive into the 48 pieces. My God, this video, this is going to be a long one. This is going to be a long one, guys. Okay. Supreme Spring Summer 2020 Tops. From Daniel Johnst Johnston Graphics to Shea Guevara Artwork. Supreme has just revealed a bold array of breezy spring summer 2020 layering shirts and tops. From a vivid Yogi Bear inspired collage to artful Daniel Johnson alien prints. I told you, it literally, it's a, it's a vivid Yogi, I, I told you, I told you. This season's assemblage is packed with colorful range of graphics. 
Supreme Spring Summer 2020 embraces bright warm weather palettes of cherry red, orange, blue, yellow, and salmon, as well as more muted tones like forest green, navy, brown, beige, and purple, across light silhouettes ranging from thin sweaters, long sleeve t shirts, short sleeve button ups, and tank top. They could have literally just said literally every color on the face of the planet. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, standouts like the Jay Guevara pop mosaic shirt and the Daniel Johnston illustration button up highlight an artful take on the casual staples. While other pieces like the tribal print polos and the green bandana patent long sleeve offer a selection of more mature styles to the lineup. Other garments like the blue jersey, Saint Supreme tank top, floral short sleeve shirt, orange New York. Uh, in inertia knit and yellow one million football jersey round up the expansive collection check out the blah 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 releases on february 20th we've covered this by now it releases on february 20th to start off with in store then it releases on the 27th online i'm just going to save you from that we've read it too many times already <laughs> let's dive into the pieces though and see what this wacky new season has to offer for us okay so this yogi bear thing actually i'm gonna make it nice and short and simple for you guys for each of the 48 pieces there's a lot to cover here so we're gonna cover all the boring pieces very quickly and the ones i'm more interested in more thoroughly this whack would not wear it what the heck's going on what even in other colors this is gonna look super whack i'm all right yogi bear i'm all right supreme we're good here <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing this now oh boy oh boy okay so uh wow a very very stylish button up button ups are not for me i could see this working with some people if they wear like a white tee under it and then have this over the top but he's a little bit too whack for me i can't see myself wearing this so for me i'm gonna miss out on this one there's the back of it there i was a fan of that graphic on the back i kind of wish it was on a hoodie though Oh my god, what the hell is this? Uh, I'm alright, Supreme. I'm alright. That's kind of hideous. I'm just going to move on from this one. Oh, you've got the back of it as well. S still going to say it's hideous. I'm still going to say that's really gross. Uh, we're going to move on. Okay. Okay. You have me intrigued now. I'm slightly interested. It's a long sleeve top printed with pink and purple coloring with black to break it up a little bit. This is not bad. This is not bad. I'd consider picking this up. Depending on the price, I'd consider picking this up. This is a nice little piece that you could wear. Just simple outfit. This, black jeans, white shoes, white Air Force Ones. Nothing easy like that. Nothing easy like that. I could see myself wearing this one. Oh, got a little bit more artwork on the back. Doesn't make me change my opinion on how I would wear it. But with this artwork on the back, it kind of makes it seem like it's a, a bowling alley uniform. Kind of feel me with that? Do you feel me with that audience out there? You feel me with that? Kind of looking like a bowling uniform. Yeah, I feel it though. I'd pick this up. I'd pick this one up. This is an interesting top. This is an interesting top. I'd pick this one up. Let's move on to the next one my god <laughs> whoa 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 that's uh that's very graphic heavy there supreme done a very graphic heavy uh top there and uh i think that one's gonna be a skip for me a little bit too crazy a little bit too crazy we'll skip out on this one so we'll skip on that one let's head to the next one. Oh, okay 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 I'm interested. You have my attention. I would have liked it in a different color. There will be different colors releasing for all these tops, by the way. Uh, I will be covering the different colors when I do the weekly drops. So not in this stuff, because one, it doesn't have it listed here, but I'd rather cover it in the weekly drops. So I'd be interested in a different color. Show me some different colors and then I might be on board. But the dark navy blue with the yellow, not really doing it for me. Not really doing it for me. So this one, Kind of going to be a skip for me on that one. We'll move on. Whoa. This looks like someone's grabbed the kindergarten's uh, coloring in book and then chucked it on a tee. Uh, 
Yeah, probably not going to wear this probably because it is a button up and it's just a little bit too odd. You could wear this though with just a white tee underneath. You could wear it as an overshirt. It could work. It's a nice tee, but I just, I, you, I would not be wearing that. I, I, I'm all right. I don't need to wear this. I'm not going to a music festival anytime soon, so I'm all right. Uh, but let me know if you're a fan of this one. It's actually not a bad tee. I, do, I don't mind it too much, but yeah. Yeah. It's just, I wouldn't wear it. Okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about this one. You know how I feel about it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I love it. I love it. It's just, <sighs> give it to me in different colors. When this drops, whatever week this drops in, I'll be interested in picking it up. There was a, there was a denim jacket from last year, I think it was, that had a very similar artwork piece, but it looked like it was painted on the back of the denim jacket. I have been hunting that down on Grailed, but people do not want to get rid of it for less than 900 American. And I'm like, bruh, I'm not paying you 900 American dollars for an extra large denim jacket that you pay probably like 300 American for, and you're trying to resell it for three times the price. Uh-uh, ain't gonna work like that. I'll give you like 450. I, anyway, back to this. Yeah, uh, that denim jacket, I still really want that. But this, this is a good substitute. I'd pick this up in a different color. The orange and blue is a little bit too wild for me. But give it to me in a different color and I can see picking it up. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. I like its graphic. Yeah. I will move on from here. Oh, we got some freedom on the back. I picked this up. I'm telling you guys, I'll pick this up. Dep it all depends on the color though, because I'm not keen on the orange and blue. We'll have to see which week it drops and what colors it drops in and i will cover that when it drops in the week but yeah straight off the bat not feeling that color but it's a very nice graphic uh we'll move on to the next one Ooh, what is this jesus uh this looks like a prison's uniform um yeah this is a prison's uniform and it's straight outside this is the supreme prison's uh uniform Nope, not feeling this one, guys. Wait, I'm gonna move on from this one. No thanks. Oh boy, uh, we've got a top with a bunch of newspapers put all over it. Nope, nope. Uh, that one's gonna be a skip for me as well. Bright, the bold, and the nasty. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a little bit too adventurous for me. Uh, the shapes are a little bit weird. It looks kind of cool if it was done in a different color palette, but this one's a little bit too bright and crazy for me. And I just don't like the actual garment that it's put on. The polo, not a fan, man. Uh, but it's an alright design. I wish it was done on a different type of piece, like a hoodie. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm just such a hoodie addict, but ooh, the, ooh, not on this kind of piece. Uh, we'll move on, though. Oh my god. that is That looks like a snakeskin button-up. No, no, man, I'm not keen on that. I, I, this looks like something you'd see with someone wearing this in Vegas. This looks like something someone would wear in Vegas with a cowboy hat, handlebar mustache. They're on the, they're in the, they're in the poker machines. They're on the poker tables. Oh, sorry, poker machines. They're on the, uh, t they're on the machines. They're on the poker tables. They roll them big, you know, like that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like that someone would wear this with. And I'm not about that. So I'm going to skip on that one. Oh my God. Supreme, what are you doing? Uh, this one's a little bit too crazy for me. Uh, maybe if it was in a different color. But it's just, it's too loud for me. I'm a, I'm a very basic top kind of guy. And these are just are a little bit too adventurous for me. I just, I wouldn't be able to do it to myself. I'd be like, what the hell am I going to wear this with? But I'm going to miss out on this one. We'll move on to the next one. Oh my God. This looks like something I'd find in a vintage store that a grandfather left and he remembers wearing to his like prom. Nah, bro, not this. I am not feeling this. This is whack. This is so whack. Nah, I'm all right. Oh my. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Oh my God, this is horrendous, man. This looks like someone bought a bunch of like uh, ponchos from Mexico and turned it into a shirt. This ain't eat, Chief. This ain't eat, Chief. No, no, no. 
Gonna skip this one too. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna skip that one. Let's move on. I'm hoping something more tasteful. <sighs> no, not at all. Supreme let me down. <laughs> Supreme really just uh, their top and tea game is really lacking. Outwear, jackets, hoodies, love it. This stuff. This is so whack, man. Look at this. This looks like a sporting jersey. Like an early 2000s one with the glittery Supreme S 2020 on the chest. No, bro. This ain't it. This ain't it. We're skipping this one. Oh, God. It gets even worse. Not skipping it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. I think these are so bad, man. This is just so corny. Remove the Supreme logo, right? Remove the Supreme logo. That looks like something I'd find in Kmart. That looks like something I'd find in like a a, a car parts store. Or like all the dads. The, you know, the, this is a dad tee. No. No, 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 no. We skipping this one. Let's go to the next one. God. Oh, come on, Supreme. You're better than this. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Nah. Nah. Nah, we moving on. Oh, Jesus, it gets even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Button up shirt with all these letting nah. up. Nah, moving on. Oh, my God. It's like I've, it's like it's a joke at this point. It's just like it's a joke. No, bro. Look how ugly this looks. Nah, nah, moving on. I have like a, sl a little bit of hope that the next one just gets better, but it just gets worse and worse and worse. Look at this thing. No, no. I hate most of this tops collection already. The T collection of like 11 T's was better than this. Let's move on to the next one. This looks like something an American cowboy would wear. Oh my God. Nah, this is trash. This is trash. Moving on. This is trash as well. This is actually trash as well. Moving on. Look how they massacred one of the graphics that I loved so much on the jackets. Look how they massacred it. Now, nah. Miss. Uh, okay. This is a little bit more tasteful. It's only because I like this design when it was done on the outwear, done on the overcoat. But man... Uh, you're lucky this this looks good on a button-up shirt though. You're lucky this. You wear this over the top of a white tee. It it'll fit all right. It'll look all right. But oh yeah yeah, this top section is terrible this season. Oh my god. Let's keep moving. Uh, okay, Supreme. Nope. Not feeling this one. Oh my god, Jesus. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> this looks like spaghetti. It looks like the color of spaghetti. You know those tin spaghettis that you have? Yeah, it looks like someone just went on top of a tea. Nah, this is trash, bro. Moving on to the next one. Come on, man. This just looks like something you'd find in an op shop. This looks like something you'd find in an op shop. Jesus. I might as well just go walk down to my local Red Cross and go buy this, bro. <sighs> nah. Nah. Andy Warhol BS right there. Uh, nah. This is lame. This is very lame. See, this is the most toned down top we've seen so far. And I actually kind of like it because it's the most toned down so far, but it's still trash. Nothing else like it in the world. Supreme. Lame. Lame. We're almost, we've got 10 left. All of these have sucked. The start of it, kind of shaky. Had some alright pieces. It just got worse and worse as we went through it. Hi, I live in Miami and I do cocaine. Do you want some? Look at this. Look at this. My god. Ah, yeah, yeah. Am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying it looks like someone who deals cocaine in Miami? 
GTA Vice City summed up in a shirt right there. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's so, so bad. No, keep moving. Op shop. That's, that's it. That's what I'm just going to label it as. Op shop. Op shop. <laughs> Op shop. Oh my. Discount sports store. Op shop. Op shop. Op shop. Op. Hmm. Just terrible design. That one doesn't even deserve to be in an op shop. We have one left. These tops sucked, bro. Uh, yeah. What is this? Like nightwear? This is, is this pajama set or something? This looks like a pajama set. This was so disappointing, man. Now we're back to the Yogi Bear. Oh my god. I thought this was going to be a lot longer because it was 48 pieces. I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll slow it down when I find something I like that's something nice. But no, we got op shop after op shop after op shop after goddamn discounted sportswear at many points. Yep, discounted sportswear. Look at this stuff, man. This is trash. This is so bad. I should just title this video Supreme's 2020 Tops for Trash. They are, bro. Look at this crap. This, this was redeemable. This was one of my favorite pieces. This was redeemable. That was all right. I actually kind of like the design of this one. Uh, bet need a different color. That was all right. This was okay. Kind of a bit bowling alley inspired, but it was all right. I didn't want to even talk about that one. This was a kind of cool design. The tessellation's kind of cool on it, but I think it could have been done on like an outwear piece and it would have been beautiful. But on a button up tee, it's a little bit too exotic for me. And that's it, bro. Oh my god, the tops actually sucked this season. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. I, I'm just. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm so shook. They actually sucked, man. What the hell is that? Jesus. Um. Yeah, uh, guys, let me know how you feel about this on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, or in the comment section below. But I'm blown away about how much that sucked, man. Jesus. I'm, I'm going to go for the outwear and the hoodies this season. We haven't done the hoodies yet, the hoodies and sweatshirts. I'm hoping that brings it back, man. I'm hoping there's some highlights there. Because the tops here, they were trash, man. I mean, what is that? What is that? Come on. Oh, and what is this? What is this? Ay, ay, ay. And this! Who would want this? This looks like an off shot. I'm done. I'm done, guys. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. But I am done with the Supreme Spring Summer 2020 tops. <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm done. This is me quitting YouTube forever. Because that, that was shocking. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. There was so many disgusting pieces in there. It looks like Supreme literally just went to a bunch of op shops, copied the design, and then they're like, this will look good for our 2020 season. Shut up. Shut mouth. That is... <clears throat> nah. And maybe you'll disagree. Maybe you love a lot of the pieces in this, but this was gross, man. Let, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, but... Oh my god. That was nasty. That was so nasty. I can't imagine anyone wanting to buy any of that stuff. But I don't know. Maybe you will. Let me know your thoughts and opinions below, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I'm keen to do the hoodies and sweaters now because it cannot go any more downhill than that. Uh, yeah, so that has been the tops releasing in Supreme Spring Summer 2020 collection. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. And until the next Supreme video, until the next streetwear video, guys, until the next sneaker video, I'll catch you later.